This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, I'm in Chesterfield, Virginia. Today, we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is new construction and it is located here in an extremely quiet cul-de-sac. Uh, it is extremely quiet because there are only two other homes uh, down here in this section. Uh, these are very large lots. Uh, these lots are coming in at almost two acres. And uh, so you got plenty of space here. Really nice buffer between the homes. And uh, you can see they have a nice uh, curb appeal. Uh, a lot of brick construction used down in this area. Uh, if you pay attention, there in the middle of the frame, we have a marked car. And uh, you know that if you've been watching for more than three or four videos, I'm a big proponent of paying attention of what is around the subject property that you're thinking of. Uh, not only looking and observing how other people take care of their properties, but uh, other things such as even talking to neighbors. So if you ever have a chance to do that, uh, neighbors are a tremendous resource in finding out the good, the bad, the ugly of any particular neighborhood. Okay, here we have a nice wide driveway. You got plenty of space here. This is gonna be a two car attached garage. Uh, and I can tell here on the front, since we don't have a huge yard, that most of our land is going to be towards the rear. Uh, this lot is mostly wooded. And a lot of people like that because you're not gonna end up cutting too much grass here on a weekly basis. The privacy is, is kind of unmatched here because you're not really able to see any other homes here uh, from the side or the rear. Uh, so really good privacy. Uh, this home does have dual zone heating and air. We've got our two carrier units right there on the edge of the home. Uh, this is new construction and of course new construction is not super easy to find here in this area. Uh, if you're relocating in from out of town, uh, in many cases, new construction will be advertised on our MLS, on Trulia, Zillow, and all of the consumer sites. They will use pictures from previously completed models, and it's kind of misleading. You think that the home that you're looking at online is actually for sale, and I can tell by my information that it's actually what we call to be built. So uh, important to uh, recognize that when you're searching online. Another thing that's important about online searches is if you find a particular builder and you reach out and you contact them, in many cases, you will be talking with someone that's in a completely different state than the subject property. And the reason they do this is they like to keep all their marketing kind of centralized and uh, efficient and by having uh, what we call internet sales team uh, they can do that but the disadvantage is those individuals don't have the latest and most accurate information recently i was dealing with a uh, family that was thinking about relocating and i ended up and went to the subdivision got a lot more information directly from the sales professional that's there day in and day out and handles that community exclusively so little tip there you definitely want to reach out to an agent you want to be represented whenever you are considering any type of property whether it be resale or new construction that agent is supposed to look out for your interests and your interests only when they're working as a buyer's agent the individual that works for the builder their job is to get the best terms and price for that builder so of course uh, smart to have your own buyer's agent okay let's go in and take a look at this beautiful new home as we come in to the right we have an actual sitting room that is a room that could be purposed a couple different ways our hallway going directly back to the family room of course our stairs and our formal dining space here to the left on the floor we have lvp here throughout most of this first floor carpet in this space this space would also be useful if you had the need for a home office. You could, of course, have it here. If you had nice formal furniture, that would be another potential use for this space. This is a really good size room. All right, we're gonna go directly to the rear and to the right is going to be a coat closet. 
nice and convenient to the front door, followed by a powder room. There is nothing like the smell of a new home. It's almost like that new car smell, uh, all of these new materials, and um, it just does something psychologically to you. Um, I guess we have been trained to associate uh, that smell uh, with new, and new uh, for many people is uh, definitely a preference. Okay, we're now in the family room. We've got the gas log fireplace as a focal point, and of course, nice and open to that beautiful kitchen. There's good light that flows in through this home. We also have recessed lights here in the ceiling. We've got a slider that goes out to the back, and I'm gonna pop out there here momentarily so you can get an idea of uh, the nice private backyard space. As I pulled up earlier, I went in the back and I heard some rust ruffling in the, uh, in the leaves, and it was a, a nice large deer uh, who was uh, I guess eating lunch and um, unfortunately I disturbed her. We've got a good space back here. This is a septic tank home. Those covers there are to the septic system. And then we have an alarm right there on the side of the house. Some systems have an alarm and you wanna make sure that you know what type of system you have in a, a home. Uh, there are some maintenance considerations for some types of septic systems. You always wanna know up front uh, what you're getting into. There's some septic systems that actually require a service contract, and that is a monthly bill. Uh, so you wanna know everything that you're getting into whenever you're, of course, making a purchase. This is one of the larger pantries I think I've seen in a long time. Uh, we are about seven feet deep here, and uh, you know you've got a nice pantry anytime you have double doors here going into it. So really nice size pantry. Of course, our island with granite, uh, all of the appliances do convey. We've got 42 inch cabinets and a nice double bowl sink as well. Here on the other side, we've got some additional storage there in the island. And I'm going to take you now into our two car side entry garage. This space here is actually where your refrigerator would go. Okay, here in the garage, we do have an opener that's currently in place. Electric water heater there in the corner. And uh, a lot of people actually prefer side entry because you don't have that huge garage door right there on the front of the home. So that is a nice aesthetic consideration. And of course, we do have the white backsplash here in this kitchen as well. All right, I'm going to take you now into our formal dining room. But before we go there, we actually have a little bar area. So they gave us a nice 42 inch cabinet there and a granite countertop. So you could put your Merlot, your uh, Budweiser, or even your Hennessy right there. Nice and convenient here if you were entertaining and uh, it would be convenient to the dining room. All right, we're gonna go upstairs now and see what we have in store on the second level. I'm in the process of scheduling our next webinar. Uh, I've been talking here almost on a daily basis to attendees who set up personal consultations and um, it's really neat to hear everyone's story. Everyone is in a different place. Uh, some of the people that I'm talking to have owned before. Some of them are brand new to the process and uh, they're from all over the country. It's just really rewarding for me to uh, listen to uh, exactly where they are and more importantly, to ultimately be able to help them in their future journey towards ownership. Okay, this is gonna be our bonus room. Here to the right, we have a closet. Very rare in a bonus room to have two closets. So this would be ideal if we had a need for two primary suites. Uh, you could definitely use this as one of the two. It's not the main primary, but it could be used as a primary. Okay, I'm gonna take you now back down the hallway and we are going to go to the right. This is gonna be a bedroom and this is actually a, a nice comparison to the one that we're gonna see here next because this one has really good light that flows in. Of course, because of the way the sun sets and we do have trees, uh, we're gonna have uh, bedrooms that are brighter 
and a little darker. So you have the choice. If you are the type of person that doesn't like a whole lot of sunlight flowing in, you might choose a different bedroom. Or if you decide to make one of these a home office, that may be part of the consideration as well. All right, this one is not quite as bright. We've got one window here. This one does have a pull down attic and we've got a nice size closet as well. Very nicely done. Now gonna take you here to the left. This is going to be our hall bath. I love what they did here because we've got a nice big vanity there, plenty of storage underneath. This is gonna be a vinyl floor. It has a tile look, but it's actually vinyl. And our fiberglass tub shower. We do have a linen closet that is right here. And this one actually has some depth to it. If you look down at the bottom, it's a very classic floor plan. Directly across is a nice walk-in laundry room. Your washing machine would go right there in that pan. Uh, and then you could put the dryer next to it. Good storage overhead. And then you even have some space here on the left. Uh, you can do all types of things in here uh, as far as storage or even a folding table. Uh, ironing board would definitely fit in there as well. Okay, this is probably my favorite room in the house. This is our primary. We do have crown molding here. This is the main section. And then here to the right is a second section. So this is an ideal floor plan if you wanted to have like a sitting area uh, over here. Uh, you could easily do that. Um, if you wanted to set up a desk and a computer, uh, you've got the option in here and your primary bedroom would definitely not feel cramped. Love what they did. They gave us two types of overhead lighting. We had the recessed and then we had the main light in place. Now that was closet number one. This is going to be closet number two and this is the big boy. Look at that. Uh, we are probably looking at about 10 feet worth of closet on that side. And of course, the second side over here has the equal amount of square footage. So uh, very nicely done as far as the closet space. And our ensuite is right here. This is gonna feature a double bowl sink, nice amount of mirror space and storage there at the bottom. This is gonna be ceramic tile as far as our flooring. To the left, we have a linen closet here with plenty of storage. I, I like this plan because they gave us really nice closet space. Uh, of course, our natural light will flow in and then our water closet right here to the right. I'm gonna pop into the shower. You guys know I'm gonna take you with me into the shower. Okay, we've got ceramic tile here all the way to the ceiling, nice clean modern look and a really good space there in that shower. Wow, all right, I love what I see here. If you are considering new construction, resale, condos, townhomes, land, you name it, even if you're not in this area, please be sure to give me a call. I'm able to connect you with a good, highly qualified, experienced agent nationwide. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much to Linwood Cousins, who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at his beautiful listings. Y'all take care. Have a great day.